Blog Talk Radio. He don't know the right and do it the wrong shall be spunk with many strides. When the healing comes, your children step wise. Even though they make mention of them and those, fire bud never be friends. Fire You know them. why? You know why? Yes. Them of the heart of a pagan. Your children of the heart of a lion, I know. People are moved with Satan. Righteous shot in the countenance of the Almighty One. Them of the heart of demons. The children of the heart of a lion, I know. People are moved with Satan. Righteous walk in the countenance of the Almighty One. Poor people see hostility rising daily. Ignorant multiply brutality. We I see that they run and left mommy. We struggle the hard road with five beginning. How I see baby has been baby. Nothing that happen now do not seem to amaze me. We know that is the fulfillment of prophecy. How I see them no build school is church and pain. Church to church to dead, the penitentiary never empty. Still playing on mental trick on me. Listen, you check you and me, check me, and let's bring more love in the black community. Yes. Yes. They must be out of a pagan. The children of the out of a lion, I know. Evil I move with Satan. Right of walk in the continents of the Almighty One, no. Them are the art of demons. The children of the art of a lion, I know. Evil I move with Satan. Christ was walking the continents of the Almighty One. Respect the father of the prophet Moses and Abraham. You have to respect the father of Jacob and Solomon. Respect the creator of many nations. He made the birds, he made the bees, the fishes of the ocean. And passed on them to and down with his mighty. And he made the man, he made woman, children, the future of the land. So who is you to disrespect the creator, man? 72 nations bow down and crown him. Conquering one, it would be beautiful in the sight of God, the Holy One, to see the unification of my nation. They must be out of a pagan, watch that. The children of the earth of a lion, I know. People are moved with Satan. Righteous walk in the continents of the Almighty One. They must be out of demons. The children of the earth of a lion, I know. In the continents of the Almighty One, for people see hostility rising daily. Ignorant multiply brutality. We I see that the run gone left mommy to struggle the hard road with five beginning. Oh, I see baby as in baby. Nothing that happened, no, do not seem to amaze me. We know that is the fulfillment of prophecy. Oh, I see them not build school, is church and penitentiary. Yes, church to church to dead, the penitentiary yes, never empty Still playing a mental trick on me, believe me They must be out of a pagan The children of the out of a lion, I know People are moved with Satan Right of walk in the continent of the Almighty So when I tell you, man I'll tell you beer, get in a gear, cause this is the kings of kings and the lord of lords, the conquering lion of the tribe of Judah, the elect of God, earth rightful ruler. No Ghana silk! I want to tell you, say, oh, just come cripple them, my son. Conquering lion, come again. God knows, lion, lion. Oh, 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 yeah, yeah. yeah. Sounds move out of the lion's way and let the lion pass through. So long we've been killing sounds, don't have nothing to do with you. Sounds, you are our slave, you're just behaving brave. If you test the lion tonight, we're gonna make you give your own grave. Whether you're from downtown or uptown, I don't want you to test the lion cousin paint with the lion's crown Lord, hard not to crack Lion, it's hard not to crack Whoa, hard not to crack So 
I'm trying to say how niggas dress. We're gonna go into the tight jeans, the earrings, pink, uh, the pink shirts. Uh, we're gonna go into everything and, and, and what this is, what this destruction of the black coat within the, our dress code. And we basically, you know, my main message is this: some of us are, um, are adults, are big men, and the world needs to grow the f up. You know. I don't want to start swearing so quick. <laughs> you see what I'm saying, my brother? <laughs> you know, we've got another That's caller, right? That's the true fact there. I, I will, we've got another caller on the 818 You know, this is open debate, you know, because it could be someone who's for the grown-ups dressed. And I, I love the debate, me personally. So, you know, I'm going to bring this person Hey, in. brother, you're coming for a little choppy still. You're coming for a little uh, choppy still, brother. Can you hear me now? Nice. It's I'm gonna I'm gonna go and call in. I'm gonna bring in the other caller, right? So you're highly blessed. I'm gonna call yeah, man, you're blessed. You're blessed. You start the show, brother. Balance. Hello. Peace and balance, Easter. Am I on? You're on. You're live. We call okay, radio. Okay, cool. All right. Here's what I have to say. <laughs> First of all. I don't think before you, most before you, sis before you start yeah. can I can I uh, understand uh, understand where you are located and can you give the siblings uh, an idea of your name? My name's Tori Christman. I live in Burbank, California. Wonderful. And my interest in this because I'm probably considered a white devil. I'm white, but I love black okay. people. And I'll tell you what, I have a couple things. Number one, and this is really for white or black, African American, whatever nationality you are, please take off your baseball caps when you're in the movies. <clears throat> I'm also <laughs> against people wearing jeans that fall off their asses. I don't care what color they are. We're I don't need to tonight. see your ass unless we're doing something personal. I'm, I'm really tired of that. 
But most of all, Mm -hmm. I want to warn this community to watch out for Scientology's invasion of the black community. The black people have set standards for excellent fashion for a very long time. Okay? In Scientology, you can go to Facebook. Uh, It's called Scientology Invasion of the Black Community. And hear and see how they're now wearing suits. And, you know, looking very straight and very Republican. And what the fuck is that? You guys don't need to do that. <laughs> Indeed. So I, I appreciate I appreciate the, those sentiments. Uh, I right. do agree with uh, most of what you said, most definitely. We do. Uh, it's not just about, obviously, original people, as you, you uh, label so-called black people. It's not just about us. It's about the, the, the bigger picture. And, and as you say, courtesy is needed if you're in a theater or a in a house uh, watching films. So they don't need to change a lot. They really adult. don't. Yeah. So don't don't mm-hmm. get into a whole big thing on it. Because, you know, that, that's oh, no, exactly... We're gonna, we're gonna, Hmm? We're gonna really get. We're gonna really get into the full detail of uh, the pants sagging, of the really tight clothes, drain pipes, the robot sort of attire. You know, we're, we're gonna go into it. The, the, the garish right. colouring. We're gonna get into it just to give obviously the siblings and obviously any other nations who are who are listening. I think it's a good. It's a good topic. What, one, yeah, of one. course. Thank you very much for recording. Uh, I, you, you can stay on the line. You can stay on the line. I will. Yeah, thank you. Indeed. Because, um, you know, it's it's very interesting. Can you? Is my mic clear now, brother? Bless. Because it's very interesting that um, a, a white person would come up here and, and you know, and share the same opinion. Because, you know, I know a lot of black folk don't want to hear this, but as far as I'm concerned, as a younger as a younger, um, you know, you you guys would call me young because I'm 30. Um, someone who's younger telling you as big men to to grow your f- grow you grow up. That's the bottom line. Because you can't be going out here dressing like I, I see guys from New York, especially New York. They're the worst. Because some of these guys from New York here, yeah, um, I've seen on on YouTube, like brother Larry. And, and, and other and Sarnet <laughs> even Sarnet I see him wearing suits sometimes you know but I mean I Indeed. see guys who are constantly wearing um, teenage clothes and natural the fruity yep. as well he's another one yes and I think that it just makes our people look complete utter uh, fools and you know th- this is the reason why we get racial profiled by the police I'm not saying it's yes. going to solve the whole issue, but I'm telling you, the power of a black man in a suit, because every time I've gone to a wedding and I've been seen in a suit, people think I'm really important. You see what I'm trying to say? People mm-hmm. have respect. When I'm dressed in a baseball cap and a hoodie and some track and a track suit bottoms and my white tees, I get looked upon like, you know, like some sort of crook or a criminal by other races. You see, because we really want to, if we want to stop racial prejudicing and racial profiling and stereotyping, we've got to fix up, man. When um, Caribbean people first came to England, um, women from all races, especially white women, they used to say, look how well these these, these black men dress. I mean, they hated black folk, but they respected how we dress. Because we used to wear a suit everywhere we go. My grandfather was a 70-year-old man. And even when he was going to the betting shop, if he was going to the pub, right, which we call a bar in your country, for a drink, he that man, you couldn't see that man without his suit on, right? Even though he wasn't going nowhere important, but that man didn't go nowhere without his suit and his shoes. And as far as I'm mm-hmm. concerned, if you're over the age of 30 and you ain't doing no sports, Right? You ain't got no business wearing a suit. Or you're not going to the park. You ain't got no business wearing a suit and trainers. Bottom line. And if anyone, anyone wants to defend that, come come on this station and come and debate me about that. Because I'll, I'll, I'll open up a, a, a can of uh, um, whoop ass and knowledge for you. Yeah? And, and there's another caller on the 111111. I don't know. It's just like some, crit, some funny number. Um, highly blessed. Skype, he's probably a Skype. Highly blessed. 
on the one. Okay, one, can one, I say one. something? Yeah. <clears throat> can I say something? You can say what you're saying, sister. I mean, you can uh, say okay. So saying. here's the deal, and this is true. <laughs> the problem is not the problem. The problem is your attitude about the problem. That's it. Elaborate, please. Pardon me. Elaborate, please. Could you elaborate? Is it, was it Toya? Was your name? Tori. What was Tor- your name again? Tori, sorry. Like in other words, if if you dress in the difference in a suit, I'm not against suits, but trying to make people feel like they can't dress the way they want to dress, most of it is their own personal attitude. If you feel like you look like shit, you're going to look like shit. If you dress, it doesn't. Pardon me? To a point, I would would agree with that, but you've got to understand that this is. Yeah, exactly. The the, the attire that is being promoted now is a program. So once you you once you into that program, you're locked in. Like when you when you pay your you know your your dollar or whatever to get on that ride. Once that belt the bar's down, you can't get off the ride until you're finished. So you know once you put on those clothes, you you are locked. You are locked. Now which clothes mentality. are you talking no about? You, which clothes are you talking I'm about? I'm talking. I'm talking about the casual attire. Not even so much the casual attire, these uh, so-called hip-hop culture, culture tires, attire even, mm-hmm. you know, with the baseball hat, the skinny jeans, and, it, you know, the the, the, the the flowery clothes with the really bright Tell colors it. and stuff, and the, the tight, tight, drain pipe type, you know, all that kind of stuff. That is a you got little kids. you got little that kids. Takes... Go on. Go on, brother. Go for it, man. Go, yeah. go in. No, no, I was going to say, yeah, that you've got little kids, right, copying old men. Yeah, big old men who've been to jail. That's why they wear saggy pants. This is a jail culture. When you see the youths, them wearing um um sagging pants, pants that are down to their knees. And these young boys and these grown adults, yeah, have got the nerve to tuck their vest or their shirt into their pants. Ridiculous. It's mm-hmm. absolutely and and pathetic as well. I don't care. You know, I'll, listen, this, this is what I'm trying to say. People can't see these things, right? And this is the place for truth, right, Tori? This is the place for truth. If you don't like, Absolutely. Hearing, the, if you don't like hearing the truth, this is just the wrong place to go. But like no, I, said, I do. I'll, listen to me. Tell, let I'll me tell you something. Debate. I was brainwashed and in Scientology for 30 years, okay? So I know a program. I know what you're talking about. I was programmed mm. mentally, brainwashed, mind controlled for 30 years and i ended up escaping out of there being chased across the country the tampa police got me out of the tampa airport and i've been speaking out for 12 years since then on youtube now tori magoo 44 that's my youtube site with 500 videos over 2 million uploads so trust me man i know programming when i when i know what you're talking about and so it doesn't. Wonderful. It isn't what you're wearing. It's you know. Are, are you? Yeah, you're right. If you're just doing it because everybody else is doing it, Google or yes. l- just Google mind control and learn about mind control because that's what it is. We've got a show coming up in the future called uh, Methods of the Devil Mind Control. So we're going to be going into that, and we're going to do a show on Farrakhan and Scientology. Perfect. Perfect. We're going to be doing that. So good. You should listen around. For this show and, and well, you should it. call me or PM yeah. me. My name's T- Tori Christman, T O R Y Christman, like Christ man. And send me a message and I will be on it. Believe hey, me. I made a video hey, two hey, years Tori. ago about Tori. Louis Farrakhan to the African American community. Yeah, that's okay. Tori. Can you hear me, Tori? Hey, Tori. Yeah. Uh, Pardon me? me? Okay. I was going to say, could you send us an email with your contact information in? Sure. Now, let me look and see. where. Do you have a thing to send you one? Email. Okay, so yeah, send you. that's it. To, now, yeah. what's the email address, though? It says to. Well, you can yeah, send you, it you to um, Carbon your, your, Radio. Your, Poverty Supreme. Yeah, minute. exactly. Carbon Radio. Minute. Is it yeah. Poverty Supreme? Yeah. Well, it's Carbon that's Radio. It. But, um, yeah. But just go to yeah, Carb. It's yeah, you'll find it under yeah. poverty. Yeah. Well, I'm and on poverty. Simply, I'm on your site on the radio station, but the email says, "Who do I want to send it to?" Um, just 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 no. Carbon Radio, isn't it? Doesn't matter. 
Because you can just go into the uh, messages bit, right? If you want to send someone a message, right? Send someone a message. It says message underneath. Yeah, you... It says message underneath follow. See, underneath follow, it says message. Then you click on that, then you can do everything that you need to do. There's a caller on the 1111111. One, 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 one. Now they want to call in, so I hope you're going to answer now. 1111111. One, 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 one. Highly blessed. Salam and balance. How are my family doing this evening? Is Ishmael Allah? Okay. Yes, Ishmael yes, Allah, yes. balance, heard, Lord. I heard of you. Um, what, what, Islam, family. Um, we're gonna go into the uh to this this now. I'm I'm happy to hear from you, uh, Ishmael, because I've seen you for a few years on um on YouTube. So you know it's very interesting that you called in. Um, we're gonna talk about first um what baseball caps. You know, that's the first thing I wanna go into because you know, like I said, there's the subjects about how you know grown folks are wearing child looking like children more and more and instead of the old saying used to be like father like son now it's like son uh son like father you got this the father trying to be his, his son that cannot work mm-hmm. sorry you never saw that in the old back in 50, 30 years ago 20 years ago you never used to see that you know i like a lot of older folks who are keeping to sleep i'm not not, not intentionally but that alone, that's why um, we haven't got no respect for all the folk because of the way they dress. And I was one of those youth who didn't have respect for all the folk. Let me tell you why. Because you was dressed the same way as me. And when we would go away, yeah, we would say, look at that man. He's a big man and he dresses like a, a, like a kid and he looks like an idiot. That's what we used to say. Because, you know, all the, the older the grown-up would be trying to tell us something, but he dressed like us. That's why mm. grown folk get treated. Um, they say the uh, the younger folk no, it ain't got no respect. You know, if you came to us in a suit and look like you've been somewhere, rather than you like you've been off the streets, you know, then you might your your voice might be a little better. I'm not saying it's gonna change everything, but we gotta start from ground up. We can't miss nothing. Just like these these um metaphysical BSs are talking about oh um um um. We're you talking about? We're going to go to the fifth dimension and skip the fourth. That's some <laughs> foolishness. If you can't even handle the third dimension, how, do you, how are you going to just skip a fourth dimension and then go into the fifth? And, you, and you've got a lot of these... And oh, the reason it's no foolishness what they're saying as well is because a lot of these guys are, are $20 hustle, a man out of his $20 um, um, hustlers. Hustle a man out of his $20 hustlers. Like Bobby Himmett. Phil Valentine and these other um, Delbert Blair and these other guys and if anyone who wants to bring up um, come going about um, wants to tell me about how metaphysics means a lot and how much you I'll debate anybody who knows this metaphysical bullshit inside out right I'll debate any of you to tell me how the real world isn't what we deal with the teachers that we do on this show it, um um, tell me that metaphysics means more to what we're dealing with, which is the reality and the third dimension of what realm of what you're dealing with, or the situation, yeah? Because all these people want to do is tell you to meditate. That's all these guys are going to tell you, because I've listened to what, what these people are saying. And like I said, when you know you've been fooled, you can't fool that man again, or person, or being. Bottom line, I mean, if you've got anything to say, uh, Ishmael, uh, well, I, I would like to point out that, you know, um, I'm in agreement with you that, you know, sipping tea and burning incense is not going to get us out of this condition that we're in. So I don't waste time with that. Um, I can say for a fact that I'm first-generation hip-hop. So, you know, I got squatter's rights to the culture. You understand? So, mm. you know, I came up in an era to where we were the, the young ones that were going to the clubs when – you know, nobody was accepting hip-hop when nobody was accepting the culture and we were embracing it as mm. DJs, dancers, rappers, etc. I'm that generation. I'm in my 40s. So for me, you know, the the suit don't make the man. The man makes the suit. So I can rock, Thank you me. know, anything and feel comfortable in it. You understand? The vast majority of uh, what I do as far as work is suits. 
So, yes, you know, you will see me in a suit most of the time, and my suits are very expensive. My suits probably start at about, about 700 a piece. But w- when I'm away from my regular, you know, job, you also catch me in sweatpants and a hoodie and, and Tims and, and jeans. That's what I wear. I'm comfortable in that. I'm still the same dude that that will put on the suit, but I understand that, you know, I don't, I'm not one that wastes my time sagging and all that other stuff, but if I wear, you know, Tims and, and jeans and a shirt, I'm just as comfortable being able to communicate to anyone, even if I have to go back into my job. They are surprised when they see me in my regular apparel, but it's still me, Indeed. and they respect me as such. I'm still your supervisor. I'm still that same dude that's going to come mm. into work the next day with my suit on, but that doesn't define me. I also Good. have friends who I also have friends that have athletic companies. You know, so if I am wearing apparel for my friend Kyle Kanai, or if I'm wearing apparel for my friend Rodney Jetter, who who owns the company Ballin, he's a black brother who gives back to the community. He has NBA players mm-hmm. that wear his apparel, and it's B A L L apostrophe N. If we support our own black companies, so he supplies us with the shoes that are just as good, if not better, than Nike shoes, athletic apparel, mm. sweatshirts etc. This is a black-owned company that gives back to these communities. I support that 100%. The same with your show. I respect what you brothers do. So I call in to show support because I understand where you're coming from and I support it 100%. But us being able to support our own independent businesses, it's okay Mm. as long as we're not walking around with the gutter mentality to the point to where we're doing more harm to our people than good. So I think that's the difference. Uh, um, uh, um, Tori, have you got anything to say on that? And then um, Paul L. Ben, and I'm going to say something at the end of, to that statement well, that you just said. Yeah, what I think he's right. You know, it's like that's what I was saying. It's the attitude you have about what you wear. He He can wear a suit and feel great. He can wear his own clothes and he can feel great. That's how he feels. So if it's your own, do you see what I mean? It, it's, it's, it's an ownership thing. Like, do you own it, or are you doing it because all your buddies are doing it? That's the difference. What would Does you that make sense? I, I hear what you're saying. What do you, yeah. what you got to say about Paul? Uh, I, I 100% agree, because I'm, I'm in a, a similar of sorts scenario, but um, I tend not to... I tend to dress a little more <clears throat> casual rather than hip-hop, and I, I create my own clothing. So what I wear right. is, a, is a lot different to, to what most folk. When you see me, you see me, you dig. So and I, let me I'm guess, you don't wear jeans that round. fall off your ass, right? Of course not. Because, you <laughs> see, when you're a child you, do child, you do childish things. And when you become a man, you do man things. You do what Good. men do. So I like it. I hear, I hear exactly what you're saying. I do 100% hear what you're saying, Nish, on that. The only thing I, I would say is, is it's there's just two things with that, and I understand reference you, your age and you grew up in a culture and etc. But you also have a little bit more about yourself than the average 85er. You 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 have you have knowledge yourself. You understand exactly what's going on. You're also you, you know you you're creating a, a dynasty for yourself. You ain't just talking. You're doing. So there's a difference right. between yourself, right. me, and other brothers on the line. And other people who may look like us, but they're doing maybe similar things in 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 the verbal sense, but they're not actually manifesting anything in the physical. And their trousers will be off their ass, and they will have a fitted way down so you can just about see their eyes. And they will be acting uncivilized, but yet still be able to um, articulate themselves in certain um, ways to give people the illusion that they know certain things. So, uh, as I say, I, I agree, but we need to get to the detail because we're talking about those people who give us uh, the illusion of knowledge, but yet, indeed, they're projecting something totally different. Right. That's a you very, know, very good point, and I'm in agreement with that. That's a very good point you make. I, I, I'm going to come in now, yeah? Now, I understand what you're saying-ish, right? 
you grew up in a hip hop entire time and this that and the other. I grew up in the same thing because I'm thirty. I, you know, I, mean, I grew up when I'm seeing every. You know, that is the style that um, that has carried me through. You know, all my life. You understand? But there's a time and a place where you've True. got to grow the fuck up. We can't keep on dressing like we're nineteen year olds and we're over the age of forty. We got kids who are nearly in our twen their twenties and we're still dressing like children. That can't work. That's why we don't get no respect from the devil. This is the reason why you don't see the devil going out there where um dressing like kids unless they're going to the park or they're going for a run. At the end of the day, this is this is we gotta separate. You can't even separate the adults from from the um children. And let me tell you something. When I see a fifty year old or a man over the age of forty, a man with a big beard dressed up in a track suit, yeah, and he's just going um from place to place or doing shopping with his family, that to me looks like a joke. That's the bottom line. When I see older guys wearing clothes, wearing pink shirts. Wearing baseball caps from um yes. back ways and that that looks like a joke to me. I don't talk this shit. I put the truth out here. Let me tell you that. I I don't I don't I don't I don't pussyfoot with the devil. I don't tip toe around the truth. You understand? So that's all bullshit to me. You grown folk need to grow the fuck up. Yeah, I don't big men wearing baseball caps. Were well, you scared to show your ball patch in your head? Show it, man. You're a big man. You ain't compete. We competing with you. I don't compete with kids, you know. That's what I'm just trying to say. I don't play with kids, you know. I don't play with kids. Yeah, they know around my area. They know who I am. They know I'm a big man. They, that's why you get young folk challenging. Like brother Larry, I'm seeing his, these little chats on YouTube. The reason why he don't get the respect <laughs> as a big man, I've seen one younger you. I'm um, challenging him to debates because he don't he don't bring off the persona, yeah. That that um that he's a big man because of the way he dresses. That's why older folk complain that younger folk don't give them no respect because of the way they're dressed. Bottom line, I, I was one of those youths who didn't respect the big man because to me he looked like a fucking clown in his fucking baseball cap and his pink shirt and his tracksuit bottoms. It don't look like he's going anywhere. Anyone got anything to say to that? I mean, I, I can feel where you're coming from, bro. But my thing is, say that, say that you, say that you, you, you roll with me, and and like this Sunday, I'm gonna be at the box seats up in at at the Steelers game, and I'm gonna I'm gonna be very comfortable in what I wear. Now, say you go to the Brooklyn Arena and you're sitting with Jay Z, who owns a company. And who dresses like I dress up in the box seats of the Pittsburgh uh, of the Pittsburgh um, uh, team? We what comfortable in what we wear because that doesn't define me as an individual. I'm still making money, and I can still network, and I still have my intellect in my mind. Jay yeah. is still going to be an owner, a part owner of that basketball team that's playing on that floor. So if he's oh. wearing his jeans and I'm wearing my jeans, even though the people next to me may be wearing their suits. We still I, 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 I ain't got a problem with jeans. I ain't got a problem right. with jeans. You understand? So let's get. I, I've got a problem with tight jeans. Jeans with no pockets. <laughs> you understand? <laughs> That's what I got a problem with. Yeah, a man shouldn't be wearing tight jeans because from far, talk the fucking street people. That could be. You could easily mistake that for a female ass. Bottom line, because some women, not all women, have got ass. You know. Yeah. So that's the bottom now, line. That's what I on that, you're one hundred percent. You're one hundred percent about that. I, I agree, one hundred percent. When you talk about the skinny jeans or the or the lavender pink jeans on a man, yeah, <laughs> pink shirt. I understand pink what you're talking about. Everything right. I'm saying, everything that a man wears, any color pink, pink watch, pink hat, pink shirt, pink underpants, wearing thongs, all that is some <laughs> savage shit. Oh, boy, <laughs> With the devil, you know, I burn them. Yeah, I ain't on no bullshit neither. Hey, ooh, ooh, ooh. So, anyone got anything to say to that? I well, I'm not against all pink. Know. I'm not. I, I, I like guys in pink, and especially black guys That's in pink shirts. Color, I think right? they look fabulous. So, I'm, I know but I'm a white okay. chick, so what the hell? I like Tori, but that's what I'm saying. That's a white. 
That's, that's a wise that's question, exactly. but I'm just telling you, I'm 65, and I'm just telling you, I've watched a whole lot of stuff go down, and some you, you can't just say all pink shirts are bad. You know, that isn't the issue. The issue is get a job, man. That's number one. Like each said, if you if you have money, it you know, and you're surviving and you're successful in your life, it doesn't matter what clothes you wear. But if you're if you're not, it matters all the way. Hey, Paul, Paul, have you got anything to say to this lady? Because I've only got spare. Five. I mean, I can't believe you're saying to me that pink shirts and that a grit is, is <laughs> yeah, exactly. all right for a big grown ass man. <laughs> so, Paul, you you talk to this woman, but this is a bit low for me. Yeah. Let, 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 no, let, let, maybe we're talking about different shirts. I'm right. talking about a business pink shirt. I don't care. Any no, no, type no, no, of no, no, shirt, no. any type of thing <laughs> on a man is some package. In poverty. Okay. Poverty. Do. Let me go. Let me go. All right. right. Let's let's use some Sam Wright reasoning. You're of, uh, of as you've mentioned, you said you're 65 years of age. I'm sure right. when you was um, I'm sure when you were say 15 years of age, you wouldn't. You wouldn't see a man dressed in, in any form of pink attire whatsoever. Right. Am I correct right. in that statement? Correct. So you can see over the over the years, and over it's only been. Let's see. Let's let's go into the memory banks. I would say this the sort of late sixties, mid sixties, late sixties, early seventies. You would see possibly an emergence of maybe some some questionable individuals wearing that color and then now we fast forward to the 80s and 90s and now we've got 2000 we're in 2012 and we're seeing men wearing pink everything they've got okay. pink satin I get shirts you. on pink sh- you, yeah no so I get you on that and I'm not for that at all yeah? no that's not what I meant so I so agree pink, I agree with uh, what you're both saying now wonderful and also this again that highlights when when women are going to give birth and they're, they're unsure of the, you know, the sex of, of said child, or actually, let's say they are sure of said child, a predominant color for boys are blue and a predominant color for girls is pink. Right. We know this. So, again, we can't, we can't just say, you know, we'll just be a victim profession and we'll wear pink and we'll wear... And stripper shoes, and mm-hmm. we'll wear you know tight leggings which women wear, and we'll mm-hmm. wear girlish colours. We, we can't just just fall along with the program, get in where we fit in. We can't do that. We've got to be no, no, I got gotcha. and take responsibility. Beautifully said, Paul. Beautifully said, Mara. Pardon me. No, I was saying to Paul, beautifully said, carry on. Oh, okay. Bless, bless. Yeah, so you know, as I said, accountability is is a high, a high, high, high priority at the moment because exactly. we are walking examples. When we step out of our houses, we are an example to our community, to all nations. So if you want to be a bum, as y'all say, then you you be a bum. But ultimately, you're gonna have you're gonna have that, that, that conversation with the Most High, and you know you're gonna be held accountable. So like, what did you do? For not only your family, but what did you do for the greater surroundings? Right. Are you walking it like you're talking it, or are we just talking and bumping gums? Because I live this Well, what I, what, I can, what I can say is that, you know, I do work in the community in, in Syracuse, New York, and a lot of things that I do is um, on certain Saturdays I go and I talk to single mothers that deal with, like, the RICO Act, because the RICO Act is – very big in taking yes. people and putting them into prison in young ages. And I have videos on my YouTube page about some of the things that I do when I talk to the single mothers. Um, but a big thing that happens in our community is that in the evenings, uh, you know, a lot of people don't know how the term honky came into existence. The term honky mm. became being used by black people when the white man used to come into the neighborhoods and honk his horn. And then the <laughs> sisters used to, no, really. And then the sisters would go down, leave their apartment, get into the white man's yeah. car, and go and have sex with them. So we used to say, oh, the honky's coming, or the honky's here. So what happens Keep now is uh, now you have uh, white men that are 50, 60 years old. They drive into the neighborhood now, and they honk their horn, and a brother will get into his car. 
and will go and have sex with him. But the brother is dressed like a thug. The brother is dressed yes. like anybody else. He goes and has sex with this white man, gets the money, and then comes and gets dropped back off at the corner. So that's a new version of how honkies get down. Right. The point I'm making is this. I, I don't have – I'm comfortable with who I am as a man. And last month, October, was cancer awareness. So there would be like maybe a day or two I would wear a pink tie or a pink ribbon on my suit because I lost family members to cancer. And I'm comfortable who I am as a man to understand that if I wear this pink ribbon, what it represents to me, or if I I wear this pink tie that has the ribbons on it to bring awareness to cancer, I'm comfortable with how I feel. However, however, there are those who have overdone it in the pink or overdone it in the lavender purple and they are expressed they get confused you understand they, there's a lot of uh, gender confusion that goes on in society so yeah, you have true. women who think that. they're men and you have men who think that they're women mm. so I think that's where confusion comes from you have gay dudes that dress like thugs too but you also have mm. dudes who are comfortable with who they are who are grown as men who may be wanting to express themselves on showing support for cancer as well. So there's different reasons why a person may be wearing certain colors. Just to right. say that they shouldn't wear this color, that's not necessarily true. But for the majority of what you're saying, I'm in agreement 100% that, that that's, you know, that's a very dangerous thing, you know, image mm-hmm. portraying to society. So I just wanted to point that out. Uh, can, I, can I bring in some Let's callers? I'm going to bring in some more hey, calls. Hey, one minute, Puff. What, oh, one minute, Puff. Let me just make one statement. Let me make one statement. I totally I, I agree with what you're saying in regard to that, and blessed be, obviously, your you know, your family members who have transitioned on. Um, the only thing I would say is that, you know, the, the ribbon, that's peace. If you want to support that and, you know, donate your money. But a, a pink tie or a pink shirt, like, you would have to have, like, handed over money to do that and have that in your in your closet as as a piece of your as your artillery, as your armory that you were going to put on. So, again, you know, whether you're comfortable in your skin, and most definitely, I ain't questioning, you, you know, your sexuality at all, but pink is a woman's color. <laughs> Can I say something Thank on you. all this? You're right. Go, go I, you're right. I agree with you on the pink thing. But more than anything, if you men could help the younger men get rid of any and all Uzis, that would be way more important than any color that any hey, guy Tori, could wear. Tori, 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 Uzi. Tori, 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 come on. That's a totally different subject. You know. I know, we, but we it's one that I have attention on, and I'm going to throw it in. So is Scientology a different one, but I, it's one that's invading yeah, your okay, community. Yeah, okay, but that's, a, that's so, ridiculous. So, 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 the, the devil that, creates the, the, the damn uh, artillery and the weaponry. How on earth... As, uh, as as original people, can we have an influence in regards to stopping our our um, brainwashed youth, stopping them from killing one in, one another? It starts from the mental, most definitely. Sir, so they Who said they're speaking shit, to you know, single crazy? women? Who said they're speaking to single women? I I, I speak I speak to that? single mothers, oh. and I'm totally I'm 100 uh, percent in favor of my people staying armed at all costs. I don't think any I didn't say not black... stay armed. I'm no, 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 agree with you. No wait, clarify, hang on. I want to clarify my position right quick. I think that I think that they should remain armed in order to defend themselves at of all course. costs. Not initially. I agree anything. with you on that 100%. I think that no black person should go unarmed. I didn't say <laughs> unarmed. I didn't say unarmed. You you're changing my words. I said Uzis, which is not I, I'm for people being armed. I'm not for Uzis for anybody, any color. Hang on, hang on. Let me bring in the other call. Right? <laughs> um, Chef Bob, um, I, brother. I, 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 it's I, breaking I, up. From London. Well, hey, poverty, you're chopping up, brother. Yeah, it's breaking up. Can you run shop and come back in? Yeah, yeah. Drop, drop it, you. Drop it. I can't hear you. Alan, is that you, Chef Robbie? True. I'm here. How you doing, brother? I'm I'm blessed. I'm blessed, family. How you doing? 
I'm all right. I'm greeting to everybody. You know, and brother Ish, it's uh, uh, always a pleasure to hear your voice, man. I love the knowledge you put out. Definitely. Um, Bless you, Steve yeah. King. Thank you. Uh, it, um, okay, what, what what she just said was uh, about getting the Uzi off the street. I mean, hey, uh, we ain't the one really putting them on the street. I don't, I ain't never seen no no African nation or no black nation going ahead and building them. So that you need to go ahead and look at that. Please. Good point. Um, also, um. I, 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 call, I came in late because I wanted to go ahead and address some of the uh, the, the, the clothing type deals, but I just don't understand why a man would want to go ahead and have his pants sagging down there too low, showing his ass, and, and I want to go ahead and look at a female's ass, and I'm saying, yo, nasty ass. You know, that bothers me. <laughs> that <is. laughs> That's right. <laughs> That's right. Indeed. Indeed. Unless it's a good ass, you gotta admit. <laughs> oh, ain't no man's ass a good ass. I'm sorry. <laughs> nope. <laughs> no, I agree. I don't like the saggy, saggy pants. Have you looked? Have you seen builders at the work site? Have you seen how when you watch builders? Most of the time, I mean, I'm not no homosexual, but I mean, I always see the cracks of their asses, and and that's how these youth are walking around with their pants down. I know it's pretty scary for all gener- uh, all different colors. The younger people are wearing not, these saggy pants, not, and they're awful in this business. Not, not, this this started from the Italians and the Jews. That's where this shit came. From. You know what? To do this shit. You know, one of the things is that, like because uh, we go ahead and go off yeah, a lot of images. This is one reason that uh, this it's a lot of TV shows and stuff that I really have to go ahead and I don't even waste my time with them. I have a TV. I, I'm dis- I disagree with people who say I don't even have a TV in my house. Well, I have a satellite. you got to go ahead and determine what's going on, what's being said about you. You just can't go ahead and leave the house and not know. But mm-hmm. the images that are put out there um, are, are put out there through, through people sitting around the table. Okay, so, mm-hmm. and it's done for a reason. You know, they, it's a marketing tool. And uh, and that, that sagging pants issue you know, went from being tough to being just what Ish was saying, you know, being some old faggot ass motherfucker. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> um, sister, um, Sheba X. She Pardon me. Is Sheba X there? Because I, I, I thought Sheba X, your lines right. open. Have you got anything to, to add on this? Yeah, you're my best. Okay, I'll go and come back in again. Yeah. Um, Hey Sheba, you're going, you're chopping now. Yeah, I'm catching choppy. some interference. All right, all right. Yeah. Okay. That's bliss. That's bliss. Yeah. Um, c- continue. Sorry, what were you, what were you saying, uh, Chef Rob? Oh no, I just uh, I, I wasn't talking. Somebody else was talking. But again, and then about the pink shirt. I mean. Uh, what Brother Ish was saying, uh, my mom has breast cancer, so um, when her breast was... Sorry to hear that, brother. Thanks, brother. My mom, yeah. when her breast was removed a few years ago, and, and that, that kind of crushed me, because um, uh, I, was, it was, it was just, I just knew that was going to be it, because I watched two of her sisters die of cancer. Same oh. cancer. Then, uh, on top of that... My father and my grandfather also died of cancer. But I was also uh, in the military, and I had a friend, him. He had breast cancer. So, um, you know, I, I kinda, it, it, it kind of affects me. I kind of go ahead and after going through those experiences, dealing with, with, with having those people in my life and, and losing them, people like that. Uh, you know, I, I kind of support the pink thing to that point. But some of that other stuff, no, motherfucker. Yeah, hell. I hear you. Yeah, that's, what I'm say, saying, that's what I'm saying too. I think con. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, beloved. I'm sorry, brother. No, no. Look no, what you're saying. Say what you're Let's, saying, brother. Yeah, yes, sir. I, I was just saying that. I think that context means a lot. You know, what I mean, like the the tie that I wear is sold by Macy's. I, I get a lot of my ties from Macy's, and they they're in conjunction with what's called a Susan B. Coleman, and that supports the cancer. You know, and it just it just brings awareness. Um, you know, like sometimes I wear like a white band with my suit, which stands for domestic violence, and I support, you know, fighting against mm-hmm. domestic violence. Sometimes, you know, or a little pin or something like that, just to bring awareness to certain things. Um, and, and I think context means everything. If it's in the context of that, 
I can I can rock with. I don't support in the context of how some other people may wear it. You know what I'm saying? That's mm-hmm. you and that's your thing. You know, in the context of where I feel comfortable, I don't feel comfortable with me wearing a pink shirt. I feel comfortable <laughs> if I'm wearing, you know, a pink tie or a pin. You know what I mean? That's where that's my comfort level. So somebody would have to respect yeah. that for me. You know what I'm saying? Let me, uh, let me so I think the context a lot. Yes, sir. Bro. Sorry, my brother. Um, uh, let me tell you guys the, 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 um, the dynamic call, um, the psychological destruction of the black man in with, with Drew wearing pink, right? And I'm going to say, I don't want it to sound disrespectful or anything. It's just, it's not disrespectful anyway. For me, when this breast cancer charity is as, as, as um, bringing in these pink, uh, pink, using that as the colour to symbolise them, so yeah. that is just another way of pushing. Uncle, shoot it. That is just another way. It's just a way of them pushing homosexuality and pushing pink now to the whole world. Now, with the psychological damage side of things, would you like to go to war in the colour pink? <laughs> no, I'm Good just point. Saying, as a man, would you go to war? If you, if you had to pick uniforms, would you go on pink? Pink? Would you go on pink? Pick the colour pink to go to war in? Huh? That's the psychological a... damage there. Because when you're wearing that colour, that colour right there is going to kill you. I mean, that's going to kill you mentally. And you ain't going to be on no war team wearing the colour pink. I'm sorry. Mm. You can't <laughs> of course not. Of and course you're wearing a pink shirt. That's what I'm saying. Mm. Anyone got yeah. anything to say about well, look that? They've got, they got those prisoners in Arizona wearing pink, haven't they? Where um, <sighs> that, 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 I can't remember the gov- that governor there, but they got them wearing pink over there. <laughs> this oh, the oh, yeah, that's over there in the desert. Sheriff of Pai. There's color in there. There's, there's power in colors. Blue is the most intelligent color out there. That's why um, mm. the fastest color in the, in the color spectrum, blue. And that's why if you know, it's no African color or no country where there's black folks, right? I mean, not all countries um, where there's, but a majority of countries um, that have black people in there, um, I mean that uh, that black uh, are meant to be so called black control have don't have the color pink in them. That's why Elijah Muhammad used to wear pink on his head. I mean blue. I mean on his head. That's why I now saying again. That's why a majority of countries that are predominantly black and are meant to be under so called black rule have the, haven't got the color blue in them. Because that is a, a color that signifies intelligence. And pink yeah. ain't. I I I I don't know how I'm gonna fight in the color pink. You, you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. You got pink. <laughs> it's a you good point. Huh? It's a good point. Yeah. Just just to clarify yeah, though, the honorable Elijah Muhammad he taught that you know red was the power of you know, and also uh, the Chinese they deal with the power of red, which is power. You know, honorable Elijah Muhammad taught that blue was a, a color of deception. When he taught about the blue eyed devil. He used the term blue eye because blue is a color of deception. Like the sky, it appears as if it's blue when the sun is out, but once that sun goes away, it's really yeah. black. So he well, used that blue as a color what, of deception, maybe, and and red is the color of power. But I do well, get the may, concept, and may, I, I'm may, may, with you. Okay, maybe um, maybe um, what can I say? It's the fastest color in the color spectrum, and maybe I've been mis. Uh, I mean, that's a debate about another. That's that's a different debate about uh, another time, you know, because you know that's what I've um, read to un- believe to understand that blue is the color of intelligence. You know, that's what. Yes, sir. That's yes, a different sir. Yes, debate. Sir. Totally. Yes, different. I don't even want to go hey, into I metaphysics because it's all bullshit anyway. Yeah. <clears throat> yes, sir. But there, there is, there is hey, power get... in colors. You're absolutely right about that. Okay. Oh, a hundred percent. It's like we see the color black being used and perpetrated by most of the uh, authorities in law positions. The color black is or stands for authority and power. That's correct, authority and power, and that's why some people try to teach you that black means death and black is so negative, and that's why white people put yes. in that false definition. You know, they try to make black into an evil thing when black is a divine thing in color. You know, actually, yeah, me, I'm white, and I don't make it into an evil thing. 
can I say something? Wait, can I say something quickly? I saw that Sister Jenny tried to phone. I would like for you to call back. I saw your number there. It's just that I was waiting for a break, a pause in the discussion before I'd bring you in. So I'm just trying to shout out to uh, Sister Jenny to come back because she's a very... Yeah, man. Raise your hand, Sister Jenny. No, she did raise her (laughs) hand. No, no, she did raise her hand, but I was waiting for a pause in the discussion before I was going to bring her in. So I'm just shouting out to Sister Jenny. She should come back. And Sheba X as well. She should come back because, you know, these are low... Yeah, man. Press one, man. Press one. Definitely. Hey, I've got something to throw out there. What is everyone's opinion um, on males wearing earrings and also, males wearing two earrings. What do you mean? Well, what? okay, let's get into detail. Um, if a man wears, as far as I was aware, if a man wears like two earrings, that's, that's, a, that's supposed to symbolize that they're homosexual. Really? Right? No, I'm seeing, yeah. But well, hold on, hold on, hold on. That's not the same thing. When I was young, that's what was the thing. Yeah, okay, if well... you take your ear in your right ear, you was, you was, a, you was a fag. You know, hey, hey, hey you know something? <laughs> I wear, I got I got holes in my ear, so it's like this. I, I wear them in certain, when I'm, when I'm casual, but it's like this. Uh, if you approach me like that and go ahead and tell me some shit like that, oh, you, you, you're you going to be spitting out corn. I, I really, I guarantee you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, catch these questions for you, any except for But that's a feminization of the black male again. That's as if that's the feminization of the black man again, because if we start wearing earrings now, when I was younger, it was a thing where you had to pierce your ear on the left side. I mean, I'm a big man. What does it look like? Like, like come on, a man who's got a who's bearded. Like I've got a beard, right? And to be wearing earrings, that's why I don't I don't wear earrings. Because it, it doesn't look right. I'm a I'm a man. I've got a beard on my face. Why am I wearing an earring? I'm trying to feminize myself somehow. I, I felt like he looked like I'm trying to feminize myself. You understand? It's a fe- it's a feminine thing. Mm. You've got men wearing hoops, men wearing hoops. big diamond earrings in their ears, hoops. Yep. Uh, you know, hoop hoops. earrings. Well, I, again, I, I, think, I, think, I think it's open to the context, brother. You know what I mean? Uh, I don't have like any kind of piercings on my body at all, but I understand the context of like like somebody else was pointing out, back in the days, wearing an earring in your right ear meant that you was gay, and wearing an earring in your left ear was okay. Or Tupac used to wear an earring in his nose. Or, I mean, it depends on the time yes. and the context in which something's being worn. If a brother's wearing two diamonds in his ear and, you know, he's not gay, rock, rock with that. You know, but there are other people who it's a symbol for you know, being gay and a calling card for somebody. It just depends on what context is being used in. Yeah, I don't think here okay, in L.A. Well, that's, about, cons- that ha- that's the same think? consideration for guys with earrings. I don't think it's the same. I don't. Well, well, well I ain't got a problem, right, <laughs> if you're under the age of 25, right? But, I mean, when you're above the age of 40, 35, that's not acceptable as far as I'm concerned. You look like a joke. Bottom line. That's yeah, that I'm... look real stupid. That look real stupid when you like be in your forties rocking earrings and shit. <laughs> <laughs> definitely, definitely. Lee, leave that for your wife and your daughter. You got men who who swap earrings with their their daughters. You know. Oh what God. What kind of thing is that? Girl. What kind no, of thing I agree. is that? That's the sick. That's yeah. pure the sickness, man. Well, um, listen, um, well, you got you got you got you got brothers who are piercing their tongue. You know, Ew. Piercing their tongue and piercing their chin, and all kind of madness and cheeks. So let's just let's get into it, man. This is some deviant, deviant, uh, devolution type people that's going on, or mentality at least. That that's wrong mention. Obviously, there are some cultures we can go in our cultures who do you know scarification and piercings and stuff. You know, that's that culture. You know, people live within a westernized culture now. We're talking about people over a certain age. You know, right. we men should not be dealing with them kind of things. Um, I'm going to bring in another caller, right? Um, I'm going to bring in another caller on the 253-549. Highly blessed. Hello, peace, peace and prosperity, siblings. <laughs> How y'all doing, man? What's How we doing? What it do, AC? Oh, nothing much, brother. I love the conversations y'all having, man. Uh, and we don't need 
don't need no more rappers. We don't need no more basketball players. No more football players. We need more thinkers. We need more scientists. We need more managers. We need more mathematicians. We need more of that. We don't need any more entertainers. I was told I should expose the industry. Secular music ain't nothing but lyrical drug dealing. A first class ticket to hell People selling themselves like an auction on eBay Highest bidder will buy now This been going down before the sound The Motown 40 was a record to sample Souls been getting trampled The evil is rooted, the love of all money Feeling like a big shot and get shot like big guy They won't let pop die So they make them an idol Industry getting exposed Info could be vital They always trying to place a Mr. Smith from the Matrix inside you GM on your food, you don't know what's inside you Buy a news station and broadcast lies to you Speak the truth is what I've done, not tried to do Get free if you sick of people trying you Secret societies, we don't care what you try to do You fake false imposter, lost soul played out like 8 tracks Pick this mixtape on playback Sell your soul for gold, you never hold this a true story Yeah, say damn, do it for Yahoo, it's glory These guys are real funny, them men they cash money I mean real shady, they tempt the people daily They got big pockets with no brains And while the people suffer, they take no blame They pimp our people and they take no blame our people suffer and they take no blame They robbing our people and they take no blame They kill our babies and they take no blame Blame, Shadows blame, 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 blame. you don't want me, we take the industry Thugs, see they copy our style Cause they have no substance in their music Cast don't know how much their views affect your life Yeah, their views affect your life, life they rob our people when they take no blame They kill our babies and they take no blame They be killing our people and take no blame yeah. Affect your babies and they take no blame Yeah, blame, I hear my mother blame, talking blame. She said that you were frontin' So you lied to me When music in your movies You had your time to screw me I hope you got enough We pooping on you cowards I got bubble guts The media lie Propaganda guys, we need to keep wisdom. They think that this is a game. A guarantee at the end that we are gonna reign. And we'll see uh, who will take the blame. These guys are real funny. Them and they cash money. I mean, real shady. They dump the people daily. They got big pockets with no brain. And while the people suffer, they take no blame. They dump our people and they take no blame. Our people suffer and they take no blame They robbing our people and they take no blame They kill our babies and they take no blame Blame, 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 blame